Members of the committee, my name is Greg Garrett. I live here in Providence. I am not representing anyone other than myself. Um, climate change is probably the most important thing we will deal with in the next 30 years. This is an opportunity that if we don't move forward, we could threaten the water supply, the food supply, the entire economy. Everything, that, every bit of biodiversity, our coastal cities, everything is at risk. We have about 20 years to get to zero. You know, if you look at the, the numbers now, we've got 410 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. If we get much over 450, the results, I mean, we're already seeing massive problems with storms and droughts and floods. They will get much worse as those temperatures rise and as they continue to rise, as the, as the, the sunlight keeps coming to the earth and it keeps bouncing into the carbon and it keeps coming back to earth and heating us up. I mean, the science is settled science since 1895. We know this is important. We know it has massive effects. We are going to be told repeatedly that this will harm the economy. But we have been told this for 50 years. We were told the Clean Air Act would harm the economy, the Clean Water Act would harm the economy, the Endangered Species Act will harm the economy. Every time they have given us that argument, they have been proven wrong. The data clearly shows that all of these environmental rules have done wonders for us. The, the benefits of the Clean Air Act were about 40 times the costs of, 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 of implementation for businesses. We can do this. You know, we need hard targets. You know, these targets are, they're aspirational, they're not good enough, but we'll take them today. You know, we need to do this, we need to take that step and put something hard on, on track. And the future of our economy is not gray. The future of our economy is green. We are not going to keep doing these things that people, you know, find crazy. You know, one of the things I'm trying to do, and it's starting to become a meme all over the world, is the idea of building no new fossil fuel infrastructure. You know, if you build something that lasts 40 years, it's not going to get, help you get to zero in 20. So we have to do this and, and, you know, combine it with a carbon tax or carbon pricing and start to think about, you know, really stopping the process of building new stuff. You know, we're not going to shut it down now. Everybody says we've got enough electricity. We will find ways to keep this moving forward. And um, making it mandatory would be a very nice thing. Thank you.